do it so we can all see it right here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And now it's as easy as connecting the lines. And that's going to tell me right where I want to be. Tell me if anybody's got any questions online, too. And now, if I were strong enough, I could almost peel this back, okay? You see how that likes to go just like that. Well, I like to do it this way. We're going to trim all that fat off, but this is, nature gives us a road map. This is going to give us access to that meat without having to trim it. Really, if you were strong enough, you could do a lot of meat verification with just your hands. And this is a. This is a. Look at that meat. A lot of people don't know about that piece. That's really nice. So that's right above your short rib meat. We'll cut that into steaks. Look at that. You won't see that in your butcher shop because they're taking that home for themselves. All right? <laughs> they cause them to be lost. Beautiful. Don't ask. Where are we? Huh? Don't ask. Where are we? We are uh, at the Atlanta Grill Company right now at their grand opening. Thanks for asking. Uh, we're here with about 500 of our best friends throughout the day from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. If you're in the area, the Roswell area, come join us. And right now we're going over scorpion steak. We're doing about 40 different menu items today, including lobster tail, foie gras, uh, asabuco, a lot of fun stuff, shooting videos and hanging out. All right, now we're going to trim that back cap off. Uh, what I like to do with this, I cut the meat out and use that for stew pieces, but I'll save this beautiful white fat, and I'll use that to season my grill breaks when we're cooking beef. Okay, you paid for it, right? But you can render this down, uh, and it makes really nice home frying oil. But again, this is great to clean your grill breaks with if you're about to get some beef on your grill. Nothing wasted, nothing wasted. Alright, out of this seven bone, we're going to get two scorpion steaks and one tomahawk. Hey, look, while I'm trimming this, the video for the scorpion steaks out there, Luke's going to kind of walk me around and show you some of the other things going on in the grills, and then I'll see you guys back here in about two or three minutes. Folks, this beach coming to us from Freakstone Farms. Unbelievable, just outside of uh, Wichita, Kansas. Now we're going to cut a three-bone section. <laughs> so you can see the bones, right? One, two, three. That's it. Three. Come right here. And right here. Light butter. Now we're going to take off the outer two bones from the back side. 
Just start by tracing the meat closest to the center bone. All the way to that chine. We're going to get in here. Sneak our knife right in there. And now use a little And just release the bow. Now this cook low and slow is a fantastic rib, so don't get rid of anything, right? So we're going to sneak that baby right there. Season that up a little bit. Now we're going to do the same exact thing for the other side. Here we are. Now we've got one bow. Pretty red. Alright, next we're going to semi-detach this bone, but you want to leave that bone on, alright, you want to retie it. And then we're going to butterfly from the bottom, this is where it gets crazy, invert the bone and tuck in the ends. If you're just like to, that means, that means nothing until you see it. Let's do it. Begin. You want to make sure you're cutting two even steaks. You don't want to cut all the way through, but it does us no good to be all the way over here, all the way over here, be straight down the middle. Oh, yeah. This is the oh, yeah. Chinese. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 